powered by hydrogen as you can see tell us about this vehicle sir this is the first vehicle in the country which is on hydrogen there are three type of hydrogen one is petroleum hydrogen that is coming from petroleum other is black hydrogen that is coming from coal so brown hydrogen is from petroleum and this is the uh, green hydrogen is from water and from organic waste we can get methane and pellet with it or green hydrogen so i am this is the first car the name of the car is uh, mirai mirai uh, mirai in hindi it means that bhavishya so i feel that the hydrogen car is the future of this country we can get green hydrogen from sewage water and organic waste already a municipal solid waste we can segregate and by which you can make the green hydrogen and we will export green hydrogen to the world that is the so, dream minister gadkari clearly walking the talk where, or rather driving the talk when it comes to renewable energy as he said green hydrogen is going to be the bhavishya for india when do you see widespread adoption sir as far as this is concerned the process is already started the green hydrogen mission is there and i feel that in due course of time we are in the process within a year we will get the car truck and buses on hydrogen and uh, 100% i am confident that our farmers will generate green hydrogen and it will be they will be not only anna data they will be urja data right mr gadkari just a couple of more questions before we take you inside uh, yesterday you had also unveiled uh, the opportunity for flex fuel or uh, in india can you take us through that what kind of that incentives the meaning of the flex fuel is in place of petrol we are using 100% bioethanol I think the what rate of the petrol is 120 rupees per kilometer and ethanol rate is 60 rupees per kilometer with the same mileage the and that is exactly and at the same time that one liter of ethanol is also they are going to generate power that epitomizes the, the vehicle quality, will be on the power and 60% and on the bioethanol so Thank the average so it will be Thank whatever you. the we are taking one liter of petrol of 120 so much, rupees we are by taking Thank this so consideration it will come to 25 rupees so per liter of petrol and it is cost so effective let's begin this conversation import congratulations so no so indigenous uh, people with their because the toyota is going to manufacture this all type of car here and all the other people also will start and that will be a really a golden uh, era for the country that we are imp our imp petroleum import is of 17 lakh crores and the day will come that our farmers will generate the fuel and that is to be a great thing for the rural agriculture and tribal india one question that all startups have what incentives can we expect to boost battery charging and infrastructure now, in india now for electric we don't need any concessions <laughs> because already there is a waiting list now right in the right. Car, in the in the some of the electric car hmm. there is a one year waiting list hmm. so now there is no problem when the volume is increased cost is going to reduce right by when can we uh, in terms of you know the electrification target for indian railways that's also something that's very that high is not with me but uh, regarding the automobile sector now the future is for hmm. electric ethanol methanol biodiesel and even we can parally which is creating pollution problem for delhi we are making a Uh, uh bio cng and bio lng from perli rice straw and 1 ton of 5 uh, ton or 7 5 ton of perli is giving 1 ton of bio cng and bio lng and the tractor and truck and buses will be run on that last question sir gadkari a lot of ev enthusiasts in india often ask about tesla and elon musk where are the discussions there sir we have got all type of brands we don't have bother about anything the people who want to manufacture here in india they are all welcome but manufacturing somewhere in the other part of the world and taking market in india it is not going to happen